Donga tribe flees to Mexico. Polly the Polar Bear says Donga will have plenty of time to show off his fighting ability in federal prison. Daddy, no. Coffin Joe says Donga spread butt aids in jail. Naked wrestle wrestle with cellmate Hector. The spy's username says the Donga tax and other fraud saga is like a trailer trash episode of American Greed. Uh, let's see. American Greed Z. Someone asked in chat, like Z, someone asked in chat, why would a car lot have a notary stamp? I mean, I think that's pretty obvious why they would have one, but uh, Sweet Shekel says, hi, my name is Ethan Ralph, and I swear I will pay Zidane, uh, and I'll stop there. Uh, Mr. Medicare, how you doing, sir? I, I feel betrayed, Ralph. How could you play this? How could you How could you violate my trust and play the secretly recorded audio? Uh, no, it's not like I sent it to you first. Actually, I wanted to run it past you because, you know, it's, it is a secretly recorded audio, so I was like, well, I'm going to ask Jim about it, but... Um, Anyway, go ahead. What what are your thoughts on it so far? Well, no, like I told you, damn, I, I there's nothing I say in fucking private that I wouldn't say in public. That's why I'm not really. That's a pretty good about policy. It. That's a pretty good policy, isn't it? Well, then you're never surprised. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I because you, you, I had no idea he was recording me, so I listened to it. This was um, for people trying to like place the time period of it. This is uh, if you remember Pascal and I think Robin Gething from fucking oh, the guy that got his uh, fiance left him because Nigel Farage got her pussy wet. Yeah, yeah. so this is right around the time they were using, like, IMDB pages to fuck with people. So that's what I was talking about with the, uh, oh, you know, I, you know, Destiny brought it up on stream and stuff like that. It, it's like a half an hour talking about that, and I give them basic bitch internet security pep talk kind of stuff. And then it's like an hour and a half of wrestle-wrestle talk. Um, but the Warski bit's the interesting one, because, like, with everything that's fucking happened now, looking back on it, I, I'm almost certain, like, especially looking at, like, statements JF and other people have made and Zoom has made about uh, Tonka being a snake. Like, I, I can't think of a reason as to why he would record it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, I talked about this. Um, I don't know if it was last night. Failure mentioned it. I think it was on Worski's program earlier uh, that Tonka actually, and I don't know if Failure was on that call or not, uh, but I seem, I think you were actually on the call, but I don't remember. Um, but uh, we had a call I guess it was that afternoon after the Kumite or I came on towards the end of the Kumite or something and it like, you know, continued off air. And he said, Ralph, you're going to have a big kill stream tonight. I said, oh, yeah. Well, what do you mean? Like, what's going on? He said, uh, and he's, you know, he's finally going to get rid of JF. I was like, oh, OK, well, yeah, that would <laughs> that would be a pretty big show. I'm sure we'll be talking about it. He said, yeah, just, you know, keep your eyes peeled tonight and, and that's going to go down. Yeah, see, and I, I remember when the Andy and Jeff split happened, because I know, I know that they were having a back and forth, and, like, oh, you know, Andy talked about it on the Kumite for, like, one day, and I told him, you know, well, do whatever your gut tells you, I guess. Um, but, you know, think about what you're going to... This is on the show, right? This isn't, like, in private. This is on one of these fucking episodes. But, yeah, apparently Tonka's talking to people behind the scenes. It sounds like he was a busy little boy. But it's that it. I don't know if Zidane has it time coded, but it's the Worski bit. I think really lets you know how slimy this fucker is. Because yeah, you know, I listened to this thinking, okay, well, I don't remember what I fucking talked about. You know what I mean? This is like post stream, so yeah. I was like, hey, I have no idea. I wonder what the fuck we talked about. Hour and a half of fucking wrestling. Great <laughs> damning <laughs> audio there, Donga. It's two yeah, hours. Um, you stupid fucking engine. What are you thinking? Like <laughs> this is this is what you secretly record. An hour and a half talking about Southern wrestling, you stupid fuck. Now, let me ask you before I get my ice, and we do have the Worski stuff, Tom Coded. I think there's a couple other things. You, I think you already have the video, right? Do I need to send you the link while we play it along? Uh, it, there's all, the only interesting bits on – this is also what I find funny is you tease this for a week, and they're going to be pissed. <laughs> There's some <laughs> no, nah, there's a couple funny things we already played. First off, I didn't know you were such a huge Attitude Era fan. What was your favorite uh, superstar back then? No, I, I told people I watch uh, OSW, old school wrestling, like the guys or the guys that do those uh, podcasts. That shit's amazing. Like they they make a ton of money on Patreon too, by the way, which I'm I'm happy because I love their stuff. But I should um, have known when you mentioned the Shockmaster after the Monday Matt stream that your knowledge uh, ran pretty deep. I, I I like the goofy shit. I mean, that's just what hey, I said. Hey, the, hey the, Jim, the are you are you a fan of my old wrestling channel, Grapple Vision? I never watched Red <laughs> I never I never watched your channel. I never watched YouTubers aside from OSW. All right, but, Zidane, um, I'm gonna let you handle for a second. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Go ahead. Oh uh, boy. I he's, gonna go nice. he's gonna go open one of those free casts of whiskey that he got on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty good weekend, I have to say. But all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. I mean, I, I well, I had to listen to the entire audio to get the timestamps. Oh, um, no. oh, yeah. You know, I got to say, and, you know, and Failey, I suppose this is a jab at you, but holy shit, was this a boring car? Like, he said it to me, and so I listened to it, and I was like, fuck me, because if this is what the Kumite was like in its heyday, uh, it's just painful to listen to. Dude, yeah. I understand. I listen to myself now, and I'm like, Jesus, can you hurry the, the fuck up? Like, no, stop. <laughs> there are a lot of. Me. There were a lot of parts where it was just boring. A lot of talking about uh, wrestling, and then uh, lots of wrestling, lots of wrestling, and then talking about Opie and Anthony. Well, yeah, I I, I love Jocktober. Like I, yeah. I I have like a fucking addiction to that shit. So um, I I mean I've driven uh, <laughs> like Jade can't fucking stand it at this point because I used to like listen to playlists of that shit for eight hours straight. Like I, I love listening to old Jocktober episodes. All right, I'm back. Yeah. What's the next Tom Stamp sedan? By the way, I okay. sent, I sent so, the link in case you don't have it, Jim. I don't even need it. I got it. I got it memorized. <laughs> so we can skip towards the end. Um, there's a part where he you shit on Magog a little bit, which is which I found funny. Is that the fucking uh, yeah? He's got that's the one that um, like the who wears makeup. Atheist. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't he, he kind of like the Amazing Atheist was doing for a while, where he's like all fucking decked out like a halloween character and shit yeah the, guy, the one of the robe and shit right yeah that's, he is that's, that's he looks like a a wizard or whatever <laughs> fitting. Every, fitting. every time i hear his name i'm like isn't that what they call those uh those animalistic creatures in that andromeda show that kevin sorbo was on for like a couple of years kevin sorbo i thought he didn't he do hercules yes that's yeah. yeah and then they also had the show andromeda that was Wait, like did, a discount did... star trek and that's where magogs came from Oh, no, I have no idea. I, 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 all I know is, like, Sorbo did Hercules, and then he became religious, and they threw him out of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, so what's the timestamp on the next one today? The Magog stuff is at 139. Okay. If you want to skip to that. Just and 139 then we, on the dot? or 139.49. Oh, I, wait, wait, before you play it, that the audience didn't mishear that. Zidane just went from a timestamp of, like, 30 minutes to an hour and 39 minutes because... <laughs> This whole conversation that he cock teased you for a week about is about fucking wrestle wrestle. Yeah, well, you there's know a... what? I could play the whole thing through, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like to hear the whole Please thing. Actually, God, just... no. Well, okay, so there's a part uh, before that where Donga says that he knows people in wrestling and show you checks if you want to listen to that. It's about an hour, yeah, four like... minutes, and 35 seconds in. I would like to hear that, yeah. Okay. Hour 435, by the way. Kudos to Zidane. Uh, for going, listening to this painful <laughs> shit. <laughs> hour 435. I'm dead serious. They would sit here and listen to the whole thing. I mean, there's well, you know. fucking hell. Bro. You sent this to me and you're like, is it okay if I play? I, like, I don't know. You know, I don't care. I listened to it and then I messaged you back and I was like, that is so boring. And you're like, yeah, I started watching a little bit of it. <laughs> you popped I watched it off out of, of these poor motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I watched the entire thing. You know, thing. you really got to give it to Medicare Fembot. For fucking spending countless hours That's every fucking week nightmare. screenshotting and recording everything Tonka says, I was like, you know, do you have this? Do you have the thing with uh, with Tonka promising the stream for failure? And they were like, yeah. Twenty minutes later, they had the whole fucking stream and they sent it to me. I, yeah, I forgot too that yeah he did he did. That's Joya, right? The one he's talking about that fucked his wrestling partner. Yeah, and you know what's funny? When I contacted her before the IBS apocalypse, she was like, if he ever says a single horrible thing about me. I'll make a whole video and I'll get every single ex he's ever had that he's put his hands on and I'll get them to throw him under the bus. He's so fucking stupid. An hour before he brought her on, he sat and talked shit about her and Medicare is fembot screen capped the whole goddamn thing and sent it to me. And I have a whole little 20 second clip of him shit talking her. All right. 104 35. I'm going to play it right now. Yeah. Right. Fucking shit. Guys are getting 500 bucks a shot right now in WWE Jim. I can show you checks. I know guys in WWE checks. now. I'm friendly with them. I like I've sat around like there's a there's a video right now up of uh one of the tag team champions has a let's play channel. I know for a fact that they're getting fucked up beforehand because they're sitting in the fucking drug dealer's house. The guy everybody bought weed from. <laughs> they're sitting right in his fucking house and he even makes an appearance stoned out of his fucking gourd. It's fucking oh, great. God. There's a great video up. Uh, I, I wish I could remember the title of it. It's uh, somebody's going to like uh, WWE and they get a meeting with. Well, we can stop there, I think. But he knows yeah, people yeah, yeah. in WWE, guys. I mean, he's, is he's that the one where himself. he talks about? Um, I, I, I don't have the clip open. I'm just trying to go off memory here. After being forced to sit, it's like studying for a fucking 
the algebra test or something. Can I just say that Jim listened to the whole thing and I didn't even listen to the whole thing. So that, that is some dedication. You were so, you said it to me and you were like excited. <laughs> you're like, I got somebody sent me secret audio, Jim. Is it okay if I play it? I think it, they said it's really spicy. And then I listened to it. <laughs> It's fucking hour and a half of wrestling. No, there is some good stuff. There is a few good nuggets. Oh, no, there. There, there, there are a few good nuggets, but Jesus, Donga, like next time, plan it out. Plan your op out a little bit, you know, now, like let, have a conversation ready to go on. Where now, why do you it. think? Yeah, I was going to ask you, like, why do you think he did this? I mean, other than the obvious trying to get some dirt on you or have something to hold over your head. I, I don't fucking know. And, you know, the thing is, when I talk to people, uh, you know, like when I talk to them on Skype or if I if I talk to them on like a, a fucking hangout. It, I'm, you're going to hear the same shit I'm going to say on live stream or just outright, you know, it doesn't really fucking change very much. Um, I, you know, like I talked to, uh, I'll give you a case in point, Sons of Kojima, yeah. uh, Fred Fox before his little meltdown, you know, Mr. Waterwells in Africa for DSP. And I, I, I told him, I gave him advice. I said, Hey, listen, man, you need to diversify. You're focusing way too much on DSP and that's going to just kind of fucking blow up in your face. Didn't take the advice. You know, I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. And then Donga, you know, um, there seems to be a lot of evidence of people who don't take your advice uh, ending up wishing they did. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't know. I, I, so I even guess earlier maybe, in this conversation that we played, you're like, yeah, you know, people are going to be fucking with you. They're going to throw everything at you. And the, and the more you react to it, the, you're just, it's just going to keep getting worse. Well, yeah. And that's a weird thing, too. It feels like. You know, when you say shit like that, it's obvious, right? But he's basic, acting yeah. like, yeah, well, yeah, but he's acting but like. But I mean, look, Dong is not internet people. So, right, you know. exactly. I've never yeah. heard this before. Yeah. I, uh, I think I understand why he did it, Jim, and why he turned on you and he recorded all this. You see, <clears throat> back in WrestleMania 25, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> you know, Matt was, Matt was very jealous of Jeff Hardy's uh, popularity. So, you know, failure knows about it. Oh, uh, you know, oh, they, were, oh. they were in the Royal Rumble and he wanted a chance to one up Edge. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Matt had this chance. He, he was going to be able to do it. And uh, he, he was so that, jealous this, of this Jeff. Is a good, uh, this is a good impersonation. I already want to cut my throat. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, uh, so, uh, you know yeah. he, he hit him with a steel chair and he turned on his own brother. And it's kind of like how you turned on him. You know, tell him, Philly. Tell him about how Jim Taylor turned on me. You know. No. Oh yeah, the gym just you know what you said. Now before before we move on, why do you think? Um, I actually did talk to him about this. I'm like, why are you going at gym? It doesn't make any sense. And he just spurred out and said, oh, you know, he. Sh I guess he, it all goes back back to the IBS apocalypse th stream. And he said, well, there was. It, some, you know what? It goes of... back to me not going on his fucking show. Yeah, I mean, let, that's let's true, just too. call a spade a spade. He's pissed yeah. off. He's not making money. Hold on. Here's the retarded thing is he didn't want you on the show because people would come and, and be like, Jim, Jim, Jim in the fucking chat every anytime you fucking popped up. And I would be like, Jim. And he's like, God, no. And the same thing with Andy. Like he was sick of people wanting Andy. It's weird because there was a lot of segues in your show failure, where he would be like, "Oh, you know, we got this guy on like with the MOC thing, and a couple other channel uh, times you had people on, and he'd be like, yeah, you know, this is really interesting and all, but you know, it's it's just dumb. I'm not internet people. Why don't we get Jim in here and get his hot take? Now wait, and I also want to point this out. There was I forget which live stream it was, but you you kind of criticized the Kumite and you said, you know. Donga, you need to. You didn't call him Donga, then you called him Tonka. Tonka, you know, cut out the the fight me and IRL stuff. And you know, I told him, uh, yeah, he told failure yeah. to quit, stop playing. You know, Viva La Rasa every. I told him seconds. to lay off the sound clips. Uh, hint, hint, Gator. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, I told him maybe it'll be a little more, you know, <laughs> a little more conservative with the sound clips. Uh, but no, I, like, I think with Tonka, the the fucking issue was. He's, I, I just, I kind of was like, okay, well, you know, this has kind of reached its arc. It's not really as entertaining as it was. And so if you go back, I didn't talk shit about any of these fucking people. No, you didn't talk like, shit. I, I, moved but... on to, I moved on to fucking uh, making fun of Sargon and doing other shit. But she didn't go on his show for a while. And I remember there was a show where Amish Eve was on uh, and you went back on the Kumite. I think it was on Andy's channel at that point. Uh, and you went on there and then Tonka got on Twitter and made a big deal about oh they said Jim would never come back and oh here he is and he was like spiking the football basically and you're kind of you kind of went on there even though you didn't really want to 
You know what I mean? Like, actually watch. He changed that. the title of the fucking stream, and then he went and he updated the IMDb yeah. to include that Jim was there. Yeah, exactly. So fucking fat. It was just, I don't know, it was just kind of weird. And, and if you watch that appearance, Jim just goes on there and says, oh, this is all, this guy's a fucking He was there for six and, minutes. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing much there. I don't well, know. It, 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 okay, I, I think this is, this is my, my hot fucking take on this, right? Uh, if you run a fucking show... And it has nothing to it. Like if the host can't, you know, put a, a, if you can't make it fucking entertaining for your audience and the only reason they're entertained is the fucking guests that you're bringing on, nothing's going to highlight that more than people not coming on your show anymore. Jim, so, there was no fucking show prep. Me and Andy were showing up an hour before the first show to try to like prepare shit and fucking Tonka would show up like about fucking two minutes before the show would start and not fucking stay afterwards. He didn't want to fucking prepare well, yeah, for no, anything. What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is... You're right. it, when you stop having people come on and it's just the host flying well, solo and it's yeah, that boring too. As shit, that and it highlights that the host is boring as shit. Well, that shows like, whether you can hang or not. So, I mean, you took, I mean, you weren't around for a month or so just oh. at the end of the year last year. And to be honest, when you, when you don't show up, people are like, oh, where's Jim? Where's Jim? I mean, they get used to you being on the show and you kind of, I mean, if you can't hold it, you know, if you can't put on a program, uh, on your own, and then people, you know, they'll stop watching. You know what I mean? If you if you can't do it, you can't do well, it. Well, yeah, I mean that's the the comparison I was going to draw. Like if you if you compare the Kumite right, and you compare the Kill Stream, you guys could go and do an episode without any fucking guests at all, right? Just talking about news stories or whatever, and still draw in a consistent audience. If Tonka has to like fly solo and there isn't, we end up with dead air for twenty minutes and two hundred people watching. Well, and and part of that is because I mean. He's retarded, right? I mean, he can't actually talk about anything. You know what I mean? Besides, nobody wants to listen to fucking Godzilla yeah. conversation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what can he really talk about? I mean, uh, I remember. I think Failure was talking about this earlier today. Like, oh, this is the hot news story. This is the hot thing everybody's oh, that's talking about. Gay. And he was like, oh, that's gay. We can't that, talk yeah. about that. What do you? What do you mean? What? You know, what you know? I'm supposed to talk about what everybody wants to talk <laughs> yeah. about? No, fuck that shit. <laughs> like, how retarded is that? Oh, I, I don't know. It's just Jim. It, when you were really into the IRL fucking shit and making fun of that like we could barely take a peek at it because oh no that's fucking gay what well, we're gonna do everything oh yeah, no, gym yeah looks- Donga, Donga has it so much better let's talk about Godzilla and wrestling we don't want to talk about Ice Poseidon having a crack horse steal iPads no that's not exciting and interesting to watch take place no let's talk about Mothra for fucking three hours and Gator, ours- you, went, Gator you went silent on me Did I, I just- <laughs> no Gator <laughs> no <laughs> You guys remember that time that that giant plant creature turned into Space Godzilla and he had mountains coming out of his shoulder pads? God, that was fucking cool. What do you think about that failure? Gator, uh, Gator, are you there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to, hit, you have to hit us with a Tomley soundboard clip. Now that, now that Jim took a, took a shot at the soundboard, it has to be, it has to be good though. Oh, he's dead. No! <laughs> All right, that's fair. All right, this guy's getting a little nervous there. <laughs> Okay, um. So, all right. Let's just go you back. Want, you want the next time clip? It's one thirty nine forty nine, right? Yes, that is. Okay. Uh, we just jumped there. thirty five minutes, by the way. Yeah, more, I mean, we could wrestle, go into, go into the theory of you know the attitude era and ECW, but let, let's continue one thirty nine forty nine right now. Both of the dude and his fucking makeup and everything. You should have quit pushing Maga- pushing Maga- He has makeup. Yep. He oh, plays a necromancer God. reacting to things in the, the oh, regular realm. The same shit everybody oh, does. come on. Come on. Fuck this. No, turn this off. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, yeah thank I'm, you. I, by the way, I quit. Uh, I quit uh, the at, least, uh, at least it was a little bit more quitting. creative at the time when everybody just had fucking Avatar. Well, at least now I know who the Amazing Atheist stole his bit from. I, I thought it was Jim Sterling, but it looks like he ripped it. <laughs> yeah, he saw Magog and apparently Jack. Yeah, he fucking robbed him completely. He stole his whole bit. So, so when I found the dude, he only had 80 subscribers and, you know, had like three jobs as a janitor. And uh, now he's making like, what, almost 1500 on the uh, Patreon plus Roughly. whatever. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think we've heard enough. By the way, Magog is a faggot. Uh, what was it? <laughs> we were making fun of him like a month ago. What, what was it? I can't remember now. Was it? Oh, it was the Sargon stuff where he jumped out there. I think he said he was going to shut down his Patreon and all this shit and. I don't know. And we were talking about this with Dick Mason. Well, I didn't even hear the clip. So what did I say about my guy? Basically, he just said he turned the shit off. He's a, basically what I said. He's a faggot. Like, okay. Well, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're you know, the guy that dresses like a wizard, is like another. <laughs> 
<laughs> just turn it off. Just turn it off. Uh, but we were talking about this, and this is totally off topic, but uh, Jordan Peterson deleted his Patreon. I think Ruben deleted his, and they don't have anything ready to go. I was talking with Dick about this, and it just seemed like an astonishing misstep. You guys made this big show deleting your Patreon, and you were going to start this new service. And it's not up and running, and you. Well, I, Peter Peterson will be fine because he. Oh well, he, yeah. He pulls in a lot of money independently on his website. He'll be Ruby fine will be just fine with book royalties. He pulls in, uh, yeah, he pulls in a lot of money independently, but everybody else that doesn't have an independent website with their own payment process are already in place is kind of fucked. Yeah, people need to start selling rugs for two k. Yeah, don't, don't forget to wash your penis. All right, let's see. Uh, so, are we going to go to the Andy? Because that's probably the best part. Yep, one fifty three thirty four. Yeah, that's oh. definitely the most damning now that I look back on it, yeah. 153.54, you said? Yeah, that's where you start talking about DSP, and then a minute later, uh, you bring up Andy. Not even a minute later, a couple seconds uh, later. Okay, 153.54, let me get there. 34. 34, oh, God. Sorry. It was a long, no, 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 never. You're a legend for going through this and time stamping it, which is what I should have done, but <laughs> it's been a it's been a long week, Jim. I mean, come on, cut me a little slack. I was originally going to play this last week, and then... <laughs> Donga fucking backed out of the fight, so that was a whole show. And then something else happened, that was a whole show. Then we had Christy Winters, and I don't know, it's just been crazy. And then of course I was in Knoxville getting drunk all week. Um one fifty three, fifty four or thirty four, right? That's correct, right? Yeah, thirty four. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hit it right now. Uh, I would like enjoy it while you can. Up. Don't 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 pull like a DSP. DSP thought that shit was gonna last a decade for him and it it, it didn't. He should have <laughs> saved his money. He should have really saved his money when it hit big. Yeah, I, the stuff for uh, my great like I got I think last month it was like six thousand dollars ended up I coming in it. off of this stuff. Yeah, I mean that's a great amount of cash, and especially yeah. at the size of the channel was. I mean, imagine if you continue to grow throughout the year and you're sitting at eighty thousand at the end of the year rather than eight. So as far as subs go, I mean it's just going to exponentially grow. Mm -hmm. I mean, Andy's getting to the fucking point where his reading super chats is almost as long as the amount of fucking stream that came before it, which is just insane. Yeah. Even even though that's fucking great, I, I saw how much he was making at one point with the fucking ads when the ads were good and back when fucking... when we when the days were good there. Yeah, well, we were talking about fucking five figures and 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 that only lasted for like two months, <laughs> so he he had a taste of it. And when you have a taste of it, that's the fucking worst because you're like ah. Oh, fuck. A lot of people got fucked on that, but he's got his opportunity with Super Chat if that's what he wants to do. Oh, he's, he's make making good money doing it. it. Yeah, yeah, make really good money on it. Chris is. Really he's already fixing up. I mean, he's fixing up his fucking studio. He bought a fucking a Bing Bing Wahooey fucking Nintendo Switch and shit. So he's he's happy. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> God, those are terrible. <laughs> but uh, all right. Let, let me pause it for a second because they're saying F. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, at least I never got a taste of the good money. That way I never missed it. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're saying F. Let, let me go back. What's it? 155.01. Let me go back a little bit. Now, my internet didn't go out. I think I think it was Streamy. Streamy's been having, ever since they did that site update. Uh, last well, I tried, week, I tried watching Zoom stream and the fucking thing. It's been running like shit. It was yeah. running okay. Yeah, yeah. So on my phone, you know, I was driving down the road and I just turned it to audio only and it would kind of like stop every once in a while. Uh, but it was, you know, it was, wasn't that bad. But uh, I, I'll go back to, let's see, 154.43 uh, just to make sure everybody heard everything. Uh, but it wasn't my internet. It was definitely uh, streaming. All right. One By the way, Zoom, I heard you say, <laughs> and I don't know if this is true or not, but you're like, well, they're saving their bandwidth for the big streamers or whatever. Do you really think it, that's it, it almost seems like that? Because, like, when you and Jim set your time slots, you don't have that problem. And then, like, when the smaller people come up and they get, like, you know, anything over, like, four or five hundred people watching them, the fucking entire thing just goes crazy. And it's, and it's not me. I have a gigabit up and a gigabit down. Do There's too. no way it's me. Yeah, it's. I think it's their site, especially since they update. The day they did their update, our stream was going up and down all night. Uh, a lot of people couldn't see it. weird. And, I mean, look. Okay, anyway, I'll continue. One, 154.43 right now. But... He's got his opportunity with Super Chat if that's what he wants to do. Oh, he's, he's make good money doing it. Yeah, yeah, make really good money on it. Chris is. He's really already good. fixing up. I mean, he's fixing up his fucking studio. He bought a fucking a Bing Bing Wahooey fucking Nintendo Switch and shit. So he's he's happy. He's enjoying himself. <laughs> God, those are terrible. But uh, uh, do you like Andy Jim? 
Oh. Yeah, I think I think I think Andy's a likable guy. I don't really I, I don't really get like an ulterior motive off of him. You know what I mean? That's that's how I feel too. But like people keep telling me like that he seems like a snake and like all this. Andy to me is the only person in this entire fucking deal who had anything to lose. No, yeah, Andy, Andy, Andy is what Andy is. I, I really don't get a feeling like he's he's hiding something. I could be wrong, Andy, but I don't. Yeah, that, Andy, that's what I get. Andy's been down with me since he had fifty thousand subs. It doesn't matter that he has fucking two hundred, whatever. Now he used to watch the he, when there was thirty people. Yeah, he's just he's you know, I I think right now he's just he's probably really happy. He's doing well and he's fucking excited about it and he's really into what he's doing. And that's the feeling I get from him. And I'm I'm glad for him. I'm glad he found something to work for him. Here's the thing with Andy. Like I'll let you know, at one point he was getting tired of fucking fighting with people and he wanted to like you know, oh let's let's mend some bridges. Let's uh you know talk to Franny and talk to this person and everything. And then he got fucking burnt. <laughs> And, and and now with this thing, he, he's like, I'm tired of, of, you know, just doing what people expect me to do. Let, let me actually talk to some fucking, sure, I'll talk to alt writers and the SJWs. Now this is a fucking problem. So nobody, so he's just saying, fuck everybody. And that's why people are like, oh, why, why is Andy being such a prick? Because you guys are being pricks. Mm-hmm. He's just willing to have a conversation that no one else is willing to have. And people are ready to hear something that they haven't heard a million times. Well, yeah, and, and again, it goes back to people getting pissed off because their way of doing it isn't working. And the thing is, anybody could have done what Andy did. I mean, they could have they could have used that same format. They could have taken that same approach, but he's the one that decided to do it. They didn't. That's yeah. what pisses them off. It's it's a really like with my like I get a lot of shit, but mine is a really easy format. I talk for a minute, I I read off a couple things, and then if two people want to fight, I let them. No, I, now, I, now let me pause it. <laughs> 15303 says I talk for a minute, I read a couple things. If two people want to fight, I let them. That that's actually that actually is a pretty good format, right, Jim? I mean Well, uh, again, I, I'm not listening to the recording, but based off memory, yeah, like looking back on it, because he's like uh, didn't he say uh, I think uh, the way he phrased it was uh, do you think Andy's a snake or something? Yeah, like that's that? exactly yeah. Eight people yeah. are people other people are saying this. What do, what do you think? Yeah. I, I thought it I thought it was weird because yeah, I, I've said again privately what I've said publicly. I, I think Andy's a good guy and I'm happy that he's doing well. Yeah, and I'll also I'll say this. Andy is one of the who the fuck is Bing Bing Wahooing in the background? What is that? I'm Bing Bing Wahooing. <laughs> in honor of Andy, is that what's going on? Uh, in honor of Andy. <laughs> All right, we'll turn just turn on this a little bit. <laughs> but um I I will say Andy is one of the most genuine people that I've met throughout all this and he helped me when he had no reason to uh when actually when people told him not to i mean he got in a fight with jf uh over me which you know a lot of people said what the fuck just you know cut bait with ralph what's going on here matter of fact a lot of people did tell him that but yeah go ahead jim and i think i mean i think i paused there for a second like if you know looking back on it it was just kind of struck me as a weird question to ask out of the blue like what do you think about it well what do you mean snake you know and again, to put this into context, the time period on this, if this was January or whatever, right when Pascal was doing the IMDb shit, yeah. um, that means that he was gay oping or setting up gay ops a year ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I was in jail late January, so this, uh, you know, I wasn't even around for, for all this, but uh, I, I just know that Andy is one of the most genuine people I've met, and he's helped me time and time again when there's nothing in it for him. And I, I still remember when Andy was getting, you know, four or five, six thousand a night and he plugged our stream to the hilt for nothing in return just because, you know, he liked me and he liked the show and there was nothing in it for him. He didn't have to do that. Uh, and that's why, you know, I'll, I'll well, because be I, I've never had like I and I don't really talk to anybody outside of, you know, the streams and stuff because I'm kind of off doing my own thing. But, it, you know, the few conversations I've had with Andy, uh, like if you sent me a DM or something, he's always been super nice. Like he's never. He's never done anything or acted in a way that would make me think he's a snake. And especially at the time, I'd only, you know, known him for like a month. Um, but it, it was just a really fucking weird, especially looking back on it, it's a really fucking weird question. And if Tonka really set this up to be recorded, it makes me think that that's the bit that he wanted recorded. So he made you suffer through two hours of wrestle talk. Oh, yeah. that's the, <laughs> I, Well, no, no. I've got to bring down his defenses by having some casual banter back and forth, get him relaxed, get him feeling comfortable. And then I slip it in at an opportune time 
when his defenses are down so I can get an answer that I can later use as a clip to play if I ever have a fight with a guy or ever I want to expose him or something like that. Didn't I try to ask you if uh, you would be my friend, Jim? I'm, I'm nobody's friend, <laughs> yeah, that's I know, that's, Well, that's what you told me in fucking January of last year. Yeah, yeah. I, But it's it just, yeah, it, it just kind of hindsight now with everything that's gone on. Um, yeah, it, it almost makes it... Because I don't know. I mean, there have been some stories going around about... Uh, certain individuals blackmail and other individuals and there are yes uh, you know it makes me wonder if uh he wanted he wanted something in reserve you know because this is i i believe this is the only time i've ever talked to him uh off air i think at yeah. the end of the i mean i can uh yeah i i can say for a fact that that that's how he operates i know uh, no there was a moment that you uh talked off air with uh andy and him as well Okay, well, more gay ops to come, Ralph. Fingers, <laughs> fingers fucking crossed, buddy. Ralph, look at your DM on Discord for a, a wonderful screenshot of our good friend Akajin uh, talking about his education. Now, l- let me ask you, Jim. I know you talked about this a little bit on Morsky's show earlier. What What did you think of the uh, the weekend festivities in Knoxville? Uh, I saw you on Twitter. We were all having the time of our lives there. Uh, but wh- what did you think about it? What do you think about the current? I mean, look, Baked Alaska came on the show last night and tried to get me to... Uh, to fight him and oh, I still think I still think you're fag baked. Come at me. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know the fight thing's not my thing. You boys do whatever you want. I think fighting in real life is gay as fuck, and the internet tough guy shit is gay as fuck. But I, uh, you know, if you can make it entertaining, whatever. Um, I just think that Tonka was really serious about it. He's not doing it as a joke. Well, yeah, it, that's what uh, I was gonna say. I mean, you know, if if something like that happened with me, obviously I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fucking fighter. I'm not trying to tell people to do that. Yeah, I mean, he he was he was serious about it, and it got on my nerves. That's why I brought it up as one thing. Um, yeah, you bullied it, him out of fighting me, Jim. I came well, back two weeks later, and I was like, all right, let's do this fight. It's such a fucking easy go-to excuse. Oh, I can't fight you, Zoom. Jim said. That's the, literally what he told the, Andy when Andy wanted to book Billy it. Hunters demanded Jim. So, he, said, yeah. he said Jim made fun of me, and I don't want to look like a fag to Jim, so I can't fight him. And he told that to Andy, and then he blocked me on Twitter, and he hasn't said a word to me since I bullied him on that one girl stream. I, I think we can call this that uh, even if I had not said anything, he would have found a way to weasel out of it, given the events with Andy. I think that that's the case. Um, but now- no, uh, with, with, yeah, with the weekend stuff, I thought it was funny. I enjoyed watching it happen. I'm glad that he got his fucking nose rubbed in it for being such a fag. Um, I, I think the problem is not the problem i like i thought this was going to be like this this would kind of be the end cap of it like oh okay you know talk is giant, too. Yeah. how funny is that and now you got all this weird financial shit coming out and like i did that kind of came out i feel bad for toad because he's, he's working on a video an in-depth video on this jet <laughs> and that poor motherfucker you think it's bad like medicare or medicarist fembot or whatever has to listen to the co- toad's got to go through every archive to get the clips he needs he's got to listen to fucking <laughs> a year's worth of kumite all right five hours a day Every day of the week for 12 months, he's going to oh, shoot God. himself by the middle of next week. I don't know how he's going to do it. Now, we were talking about this in Knoxville. Where, where do you rank? I mean, Tonka, I, I would say, I mean, like you said earlier, there's random Uber drivers making fun of this guy. Just random people at the event making fun of this guy. People who are not plugged into this stuff are laughing at him. This this is spread beyond the normal corners that, that he lurks in. Um, where does this rank in, in terms of all time history of internet, uh, blowouts here? I, I think, I think it's gotta be high up on the list, right? We, we were even talking about this with Dick Masterson. Yeah. No, uh, I mean, it, if you're talking like compared to recent shit, yeah, this is, this is, um, this is worse than Monday Matt for sure. Yeah. Um, it's ranking up there with crowd. I mean, uh, you see AP posted a bunch of discord caps they are making hit lists now. Yeah. And we were talking about it with, with Masterson and, you know, Maddox, obviously, you know, with the lawsuit and stuff, I, I would say Maddox, if you want to go in terms of like length of Tom, uh, his would probably be above it, you know, just like, oh, I'm, just talking about, I'm talking about like level of implosion. Like, yeah. We're that's what a guy yeah. possibly going to prison um, for being a retard on the internet. That's pretty fucking exceptional. Like there's some people that haven't gone to prison. Chris Chan hasn't gone to prison and look at the shit that that guy did. Like, he assaulted people, pepper sprayed motherfuckers, and he hasn't served a day in jail. But Tonka might end up going to big boy prison. And isn't it more poetic? Uh, and, and I think you hit on this as well. I mean, he did it all to himself. I mean, it's not like... Uh... It's completely self-inflicted. Yeah, I, I, you can even hear it in that fucking conversation when I said, like, Andy is doing what anybody could have done. All he's got to do is, you know, put on an entertaining show. All Tonka had to do was 
sit down, read the super berries, and let people argue with each other. There's your format. Have a little bit of banter in between the fucking fight segments. And you've got to show people want to watch. And I don't know what the fuck made him go off the rails. But looking back on the audio, it seems like Pride. he was trying to, trying to do something. I don't know if he wanted, like, maybe he wanted to ditch failure and try to do a partnership with Andy. And maybe, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. No, he wanted to be the fucking blood god. He fucking put it in his head that he wanted to be the guy yeah. that, you know, won all the fights. You know, Coach Redpill Coach Red did a video on this a few months ago, and I think he kind of hit on it. It's basically what you're saying, Failure. Uh, they, you know, and it was, I guess part of it was the audience. Oh, Tonka's the blood god, whatever. You know, he's the, you know, overseer of this stream uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> and whatever. Um, and he kind of turned it into... Oh yeah, I actually am one of the the legendary, you know, blood sports combatants. And I remember listening to an early Kumite when I got out of jail and you were both on there. I I, I want to say you were on there, Jim. And people were like, "Oh, who would win a blood sports between Jim and Tonka?" And I remember Tonka said, "Oh, well, what would we ever fight over? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't I don't know what, what would happen." Yeah, he got so passive. Like after I stopped watching the show and I went and was going doing my own thing. Like he kept throwing out barbs. I didn't really give a shit. But he just wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. So I started throwing some back, and he didn't like that. Like, he, he was shit talking about views. And so I was like, oh, you know, I'm blowing out of the water. That's not fair. You got a bigger sub base. So I compared him to you, and he really got mad at that. <laughs> at the time, <laughs> at the time you had 17,000 subs, and you were you were still starting out with, like, five. And you're, you're yeah. like, fucking quadruple his numbers. And oh, was he mad about that fucking comment. The blood yeah. god doesn't care about anything other than bringing blood to every show they're on. I, I think he, Tonka could never be the blood god. The only blood he has is the one coming out of his pussy once a month. <laughs> I, I just think he kind of bought into his own, you know, hype, his own press where, you know, co and coach talked about this. His, his role was the, the host, basically. It's not, it's not about you getting involved in the, in the actual fights. Maybe every once in a while you will. Uh, now, if you, if you've seen the show, which you have, um, uh, you'll see me a lot of times. Well, I just, I just sit back, take the host role, even with people I don't like. We had Baked Alaska on here last night. I'm not his biggest fan, obviously. Uh, but it's not always a call for me to, you know, try to fight with somebody or try to, you know, get into it with them. Sometimes the host has to be the host. I mean, that's that's their role, but, right? Ralph, another thing is that it was supposed to be people deciding who fucking won the fights and all that. And all of a sudden he was like, nope, I win every fucking fight. The worst one was uh, he had a fight with Ranch and Monkey and he spent just 10 minutes yelling ho at him. That was fucking cringy. Well, he does that a lot. Where yeah, was... yeah, it was a bit. All right, I was doing this thing. It was back when like people used to watch Goldberg back in 1998 yeah. on WCW. That was my bit. It made everybody mm. mad. I was trolling the entire scene. They had no idea I was masterminding. That was the ultimate gay op. Wait, was that what was that what uh, Andy was quoting? Like in the video, I put uh, the video I did. I put a clip of Andy making fun of Tonka, and he kept saying, "All you do is scream ho ho bitch ho at people." Yeah, is yeah. it the ranting monkey one? He's mocking when he's saying that. Yeah. Okay. I'm, spent, not, I'm, I'm not fucking joking, Jim. He spent like fucking 10 minutes just yelling ho at him to the point that even like the fucking diehards were like, okay, this is getting old. Well, he does that all the time, though. You know, you just try to scream over somebody for, you know, five, 10 minutes and just say, I won. Uh, but of course, it's just a bit. You know, he was just, he was just uh, riffing off Goldberg. Uh, I don't know. It's just. I, I I'm more interested in uh, let me let me pull the room here. Where do you think this is going to go? What do you think he's going to do? What when he finally does stream? And I have a feeling he is going to. Uh, what do you, what do you think? What is he going to say? How is he going to try to like, take this okay. back? So, okay, I I, I I got one prediction. He'll say he will not attack failure. <laughs> yeah, well, he said that before. I think what he's going to do. He thinks. I mean, judging by some of the leaks from the Discord, he thinks he has some type of like dirt or line on the promoters there in Knoxville. And if you, if you read some of their, I guess it was vamp said screw job. Uh, somebody else said, Oh, they paid them off. I can personally attest to, we didn't pay anybody off. We actually all came out of pocket and lost money on the event. Well, besides the free booze that I got to take back. But uh, other than that, uh, no, no, nobody paid the promoter. We went down there and spent money and didn't make anything just to shit on him and, and have fun with it because he completely bitched out in the event and there would have, you know, all these people would have spent all this money and they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have had anything to hang their hat on. So we at least wanted to go out there for, you know, four or five minutes and give them something. Uh, so I, I really hope he does go with that line because it's going to add to the, you know, reasons that they have to sue him. 
What um, could he but, honestly do at this point, Ethan? I, I mean, don't know. We literally have him on on recording. We have him lying about collecting money for this fight. We have him lying about collecting money for failure. And then the best part is all these Discord leaks where he fucking flat out says in a, in a private channel that he's fucking, he's taken the money from the fans and he's gone on vacation with it instead of going to the fight. Now, did he say that? Like, what was yeah. the quote there exactly? Let me, let me get it. All right. Uh, because I heard you talk about that earlier. Now, originally he said he was going to Knoxville no matter what, remember? And, yep. uh, you know, of course, I won't break the law, but I'll be there in Knoxville, basically. If anybody well, let me, let me ask. Now, how are you sh- sure these are legit and this isn't a tape bin from crowd? That's fair. I mean, look, any any screenshot. Like you said, you said it in the call that we played earlier, the secret recordings. You said, well, you know, yeah. Uh, any any screenshot you can't really well yeah that's why like when it happened to um crowd with his discord uh because i think it was braving ruin or guardian one of them made a fucking recording just scrolling through everything showing it yeah i got it from two different sources that don't even know each other okay well that's i I usually take it based upon that so if i have one person that does not know the other person and they both send me the exact same screenshot hopefully hopefully it wasn't uh, hopefully it wasn't a kujin and t scables or whatever (laughs) whatever the fuck that guy's name is Oh, that guy is a fucking, oh my God. Uh, it has been impressive just how many of, there There have been a lot of hardcore uh, kumatards that have turned on him, though. They're fucking cat ladies. Uh, like, uh, the ones that have stuck by him are cat ladies, and he's got yeah. other cat. That's what he's, he's he said, uh, I just got back from the trip with who I am with, and I didn't want to ignore them after the trip. We did a bunch of shit yesterday and today and went for a meal, and then I decided to come here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, and then maybe I will hop on and see what's going on later. Now, and can that was you, literally just the other day. Can you show? Can you like send that to me so I can pull it up on screen? Yeah, these yeah. uh these these were screenshots that were taken directly from his Discord in the past two days. But I was actually talking, and I talked about this the other night, Jim, uh, with Sofane. He was actually at the, you know, post fight and stuff. I guess he went to the regular, you know, the actual fight too. Um, and he said, you know. And he was positive towards Tonka right up until, you know, the shit went down. And he said, I would have had a lot more respect for him had he actually shown up, even though they said he couldn't fight, if he would have showed up to the weigh-in and said, hey, I made weight, if he would have showed up, and whether they let him weigh or not, and then just show up to the post-fight, show up to everything, show your face, don't hide, um, that at least, you know, he he would have some type of place to, to put his hat. You know what I mean? Like, he would... Well, while you're bringing that up on screen, I'm kind of curious. Uh, it, failure. So, uh, what do you think of his Discord and saying you're a cock? Because <laughs> on, so. on AP's uh, on AP's timeline, uh, uh-huh. he posted he posted some stuff they were talking about. But a cut off at the very top of it, it says Jim suggested that. Did failure already cuck? <laughs> so, what what are your oh. thoughts on them calling me a cuck? Well, basically because I'm being open and fucking, you know, telling the truth and showing stuff. So now I'm a cuck because, yeah, if I'm if I'm talking over here, I'm a bad guy now. All right. You need to do that stream failure. You need to just I, fucking drop it all. I will. Uh, I'm going to take screenshots of all the DMs. I'll ask uh, AP if he wants to throw his fucking uh, 50, 50 text messages that he got uh, on his phone. And, yeah, I'll fucking drop it. No, right, here goes the first screen. Uh, Medicur God Emperor is what he's known as on Discord, Jim. By the way, um, I, I love it. Yeah, you know, I said this before. <laughs> the whole Medicur name is just to take the piss out of Haberman because he tried to wipe it from the internet. So feel free to throw that in your user. <laughs> I actually have a video of him talking about how he's overcoming you by making that his name or some shit like that. It's so gay. What a fucking moron. I just want to fuck with John Donga. Like <laughs> that's all I cared about with the name. Feel free to use it, bud. He says, I just found out that people think I am going to stream for some reason. I am at dinner. Uh, Naomi isn't banned, who I don't know who that is, says, uh, I'm not even going to read that because it has nothing to do with anything. Uh, Latter, Latter, wait, Latverian Savage says, what are you eating? And then he says, and here comes the food, uh, which uh, you kind of. Who the fuck is in their Discord? Oh, weird. Like, this guy lives on this Discord. I'm at dinner at a restaurant, but let me talk to these faggots online. What are you doing? I, I don't I don't know. Like, all right, here's the thing with him. He's always been lanky. Uh, but like I didn't see like that much muscle. He he was lean, but like you saw Andy. Andy fucking you could tell, like, okay, yeah, he was training. Hell, I've fucking been fucking training 
I gotta say, stop starting fucking. So what? I'm I'm really trying to think what time did he train? He also lied. Uh, well, he said I was lying about him going to American Top Team, but at one point he said he was going to American Top Team to train, and then he he rolled that back. All right, here, here goes the next one. Medicare God Emperor, a.k.a. Tonka, says, I have some new info, but I didn't mean to make you think I was going to be on air today. It may be tomorrow or the next day. And uh, American Gadfly, who is deep in the tank for Tonka, says, right on. Van Brian says, no problem. And then Tonka says. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That couldn't be Mr. Uh, Outline. That's not no, the I don't think so. I don't think okay. so. All right, I'm just, no, I, I, I don't think he likes him, so I think it'd be weird if they would bring it all full all right. circle. No, I don't think it's him. Uh, and then Tonga says, and I am not streaming dinner. What the fuck is wrong with you people? And I think uh, Zoom said. Goofs. Yeah, goofs. That, that would have made it perfect. That would be actually what he said. Uh, and there's one more. Let me pull this up. Uh, and he says, I just got back from the trip with who I am with. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. With who I am with and didn't want to ignore them after the trip. We did a bunch of shit yesterday and today went for a meal and then I came in here going to enjoy the rest of the day and then I will maybe hop back in to see what's going on later. And he got 10, like the, what do they call those? Like the rock horns that you give at a concert. I uh, forget what they're called. Like the, the Longhorn, if you're a Texas Longhorn fan. Wait, they, have, they have a Reddit rating system in Discord, really? Yeah, they do. It's like Slack. If you ever been on Slack, where they have like you can put an emoji underneath, and they'll rate it. I sent you another one, Ethan. Uh, He claims that he paid fucking AP's child support for over a year or two. Yeah, AP was pissed about that on Twitter. He was a complete law. But uh, okay, let me me zoom out, make sure I got it all. He says, "Oh, Jay Love, who's some random thought. I don't know who it is." Uh, says, wait, I'm lost on the AP thing. And then Tonka says, he didn't have enough money to stay out of jail, and I paid his child support for months, starting when he was with Gulf City and going beyond. Uh, and then they're just like, oh, well, I didn't know that uh, for a couple of others. Oh, yeah, Jessica, age 74, says, I didn't know you paid his child support like that. Fucking hell, Tonka. J Love says, only good, two months. good for you, Tonka. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I had a bet with Coach Red Pill that uh, he wouldn't delete his channel. You haven't lost yet. He didn't delete the channel. No, no. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you said that because people last night was like, oh, Ralph, you're full of shit. He has to delete the channel for me to actually lose. Well, I mean, yeah, that was the other thing, too. Hold on. Let me just double check this because somebody told me this, and I, I want to see um, if it's true or not. Um, okay. So if you go onto his channel, right, and you look at his playlist, because people were like, is he deleting or privating the videos? And somebody's like, oh, he's deleting them. But if you go into the uh, the playlist, right, uh, like Kumite events, Kumite this, Kumite that, yeah. they're not deleted. It says next to every video, private. No, they're private. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. His yeah. claim was that he had four strikes on his channel, he told somebody. I've never seen anybody get hit with four strikes in a row and still be able to upload videos. Well, you strikes. can't. Those will eat your channel. <laughs> it's only three yeah. strikes. Three yeah. strikes and you're out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's well, it's three strikes and you're out. And I mean, look what happened to fucking uh, Monkey Jones or you know ER or them. Like one or two strikes fucked them up. So well, he, he also he, he also claimed he also claimed that he was in Knoxville. He didn't go to the event, but he was in Knoxville. He was week. not in Knoxville. He, he was no in one. Jacksonville too. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, oh I was going to fight you, Andy, when he was on Rikita's stream. Uh, you pussed out. You didn't show up, and then you go on Vamp's fucking Twitter timeline, and she's like, "That's terrorism, Andy." If you come to America to beat Donka up, that's terrorism. Save where's where's Tonka? Not only that, oh, but they might they might for, that might get you banned from the United States. You may never be able to come back. And she da, 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 faked da. her grandmother having a stroke so that her boyfriend on the internet didn't look like a pussy. Who does that? Vamp. I don't think Vamp will ever also turn. tries to change their name two days before a scheduled fight and sign the wrong name in November. Yeah, that's really fucking weird. And then say that you filed it, but then when you call the yeah. court, they have no record of it ever being yeah. filed. He never had any intention of actually going to any of these fights. He was just putting them out there, and because no one took up, took him up on it, he would be like, well, I win. Because no one no one accepted. I win. And that's that's why he's the internet tough guy. By the way, Ralph, uh, you know, while we're all on here, um, sure. you know, we said we were going to talk about the, uh, the GoFundMe thing and about... Uh, you yeah, we can talk about that. For that. Yeah, um, basically, Coach Red Pill kind of said he didn't want to do it, and uh, so that's that's where I was at. I mean, I'm still not necessarily against going down there and 
uh, filming some stuff, but uh, that that's kind of yeah. why. Yeah. So a certain autist got really mad that he lost his stream me account. So he hit up CRP and told him a bullshit story. And then CRP got spooked and doesn't really want to be involved now. Yeah. I mean, look, it wasn't my idea anyway, but it would be funny to go down there to his, to his hometown. Uh, so no. I'm going to, I'm going to close the, uh, the GoFundMe thing and refund all the money to people. So they don't feel like they got Tonka sod. <laughs> and, uh, you know, after, you know, we can get approval, you know, from your, uh, from your PO in a yes. couple of months. <laughs> Literally. And then, would have then we to. can do a low budget, uh, road trip down there. See more about that. Like we promised people. Well, I'll be off probation here in a couple of months. I won't even have to get approval, uh, but uh, fuck that then. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I did think it would be funny to go down there and just, you know, whether we got to talk to them or not, just take a, take a peek behind the scenes there and talk us hometown. I'm, I'm not necessarily against that. I think that would be kind of funny, uh, but I wonder if talk is even going to be there. He might, he might already be arrested. I uh, just want to. Have, I just want to have tea with his mima. Hear about it. <laughs> hear about Robbie's uh, childhood, how he grew up to be so fucked up in the head. Now, l- let me ask you, Jim. Uh, do, do you actually think there's a chance that he will go to jail? Um, I I have no idea. I'd like, again, I mean, it's all speculation. I mean, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Look, I I thought he was just a giant pussy that ran his mouth, and then got outed as being a giant pussy that ran his mouth. But now all his financial shit's dropping, like fake notary stamps and stuff. I mean, it's going to be entertaining as fuck to watch one way or the other because I'm almost 100% certain, like I said, he's going to stream and he'll probably try to address every allegation that's been out there now for the last three or four days. And it's just going to be a fucking train wreck. And everybody knows it's going to be a train wreck. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And if there is any reality to, you know, fake contracts, fake blood work, you know, tax weirdness and shit like that, um, him deleting all those videos or privating all those videos, I don't think is strike related. I think that would probably be him getting really nervous. But unfortunately for him, th- so much shit has been archived. It's not like he can make it go away. I think that's lawsuit related. And also when I heard that the the AdSense was under his grandmother's name, that type of shit there makes me think that the stuff about tax evasion, that there is actually something to that. Um, and- it's not, not even so much that. It's when you guys were talking about he set up, a, what the fuck was it? Uh, like a charitable LLC. Yeah. And that that's a whole nother level. That's that's fucking federal crime when you start doing. Well, no, that, that's for- the one that yeah, that's the one that got his. Uh, his grandmother ran a non for profit LLC, uh, and it ran alongside uh, you know like a church in the area in a certain county, and it was kind of like a CCD thing, like for confirmation. Holy shit! Wait a second, failure. Didn't you just say earlier in the stream that Tonka told you he was a pastor? Yeah, in yeah. the past. Wait, wait. He was a pastor in the past, and Mima runs. An yeah. LLC, a religious LLC, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh do you, shit. Do you get what I'm saying here? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then uh it's really weird because when you actually like look up the thing, it's registered in his grandmother's name and she's the only person that's listed on the actual business license. But there is no evidence of the business being in operation, yet it's declaring taxes every tax season and it's registered with the state of Alabama. So I don't know how it's how it's an active business license that's declaring taxes every season when it's not at it, it's nowhere. The old business has been closed down since uh, you know 2003. Uh, it was the last uh, business listing that was on on record, and now all of a sudden it's gone. It, it has no business listing. It's registered to a PO box about two hours from Tonka's house. Uh, it's just it's very strange. I don't. I, I'm looking forward to the adventures of Pastor Donga and the <laughs> charitable LLC that Mima runs. But I, I, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm Go gonna ahead. Jump. Thank you for coming uh, on, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Those, well, I, those I, bombshell I, I, secret recordings. You had to be here for that. I, I had to defend myself against the <laughs> You really did. They were damning, Jim. Uh, just damning. You'd be ashamed. Um, <laughs> I, I, and I, I had I, to listen to all that shit too. <laughs> You poor motherfucker. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know what's going to happen with Donga. But yeah, like I, I, my speculation is sometime probably in the next week, he's going to at least put up some kind of response and it's going to be funny as shit. So well, I'll, I'll wait real quick before you go. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long, but yeah. what what is his? Isn't it kind of he's falling, falling into the full lol cow cycle because most people with a brain, any, even half a brain would just delete everything and get off the internet, but he, he can't help himself at this point, right? I mean, anything he does is just going to add fuel to the fire. What, what is the mindset behind that? Oh, I just like to point out, if Dog ever hears this clip, uh, you're dumber than Fred Fox because at least Fred Fox walked away, you stupid shit. You are dumber than a giant A-log. Think about it, Tonka. Think about it and weep, you stupid <laughs> cunt. 
All right. Have a good <laughs> Thank night. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Later, Jim.